So I wanted to give a bit of an update on the geese. They're doing good, except they would not go in that that dog house, that dog igloo, despite what the person I got them from said. So this is why I don't storm by them. Hi! Yes! Hello! It's okay. It's okay. But in any case, they wouldn't go in it as afraid it wasn't large enough a structure, so I took the dog kennel that was that's had so many functions on my homestead. It was protecting most recently my daughter's garden this past season, uh, but previously it was a goat shelter and a number of other things, or goat jail. But uh, I threw a few, la a couple layers of tarps. I don't need it to completely keep the rain out. I just need to keep the wind off of them and hopefully shed some of the snow. Um, I'm going to try to step in here without electrocuting myself, without upsetting the geese. So I tried to give this a little bit of like a point, and I did that by taking a cinder block and putting a board, kind of act as like a, create like a tenting effect, hopefully shed rain and snow. And I don't think they've really gone in there. The thing is I've put their food in there in hopes that they'll get the hint that they need to go inside this thing. But apparently geese just never want to go inside shelters. <laughs> and I don't know what the deal is. I've heard that if given the option, they will just stay outside. And that's why people, will, when they free range their geese, they have to lock them inside at night because they're so prone to predators because they just refuse to go inside by themselves. So I'm still trying to win over their trust and love. Um, I actually went and reduced the size of their pen so I could extend the fence a little bit. And I've opened up the sections between the chickens and the geese. And uh, I did that because last night a bunch of my extra roosters got out over the fence. And they're just like, meh. If I can't get them in within the first few minutes, I'm like, all right, well, <laughs> good luck tonight. And they survived, but they actually ended up jumping in here with the geese, oddly enough. And the geese didn't seem to mind. The roosters went in the shelter. Since the geese weren't going in. But they seemed fine, like, being around each other. So I was like, you know what, why don't I just open it up, the space. It actually will make the fencing more... Uh, electrified or it will, will be less grounding because before I kind of had both shoved together here and it was like shorting out all over the place. So I was just like, I'll just make it one continuous fence and one continuous area so the chickens can come here. The geese can go over there if they want to, but they won't. The geese like stay right in front of their shelter, but don't go in the shelter. So this also gives the chickens a nice big run again because if you'll remember, it was like cut off there and they looked really upset about that. They like space. In the future, I want to, again, expand this immensely. But for the winter, right now they have a combined corral area, paddock area. So the, goose can come, keys, the geese can come over here if they want, the chickens can go over there, but they're mostly just staying to the territories. That poor rooster looks very cold. <laughs> so in any case, I just want to give an update on the geese and the poultry in general. Oh, and here's the, the corner of the coop that I have not sided yet. Um, and that's just because, you know, it costs money and this side didn't necessarily need to be covered because the parts that were open are now covered. This I can cover next year because it's purely superficial on this corner. So that's what I've been talking about for those who have seen past videos on the topic. See, the chicken's venturing into the goose territory. But uh, I also pro also wanted to combine because um, I'm going to be leaving for a while, going on a bit of a vacation. So I have to really automate these geese and these chickens in terms of water and everything else, especially keeping water unfrozen. So I'm thinking about having this water spout go into a big tub that I put some de-icers in, like pond de-icers or trough de-icers, hoping that will keep them warm. Um, the chickens indoors have water that actually is heated from an electric base, heated base. But anyhow, I'll probably talk about more of that in a separate video. Just wanted to give an update on these obnoxiously stubborn geese. I'm really hoping that at least when the snow starts flying, they will go in their house. Hey, let's see if we can get them in their house. Go in your house. Goose, goose. Go in your house. See? See? They will not go in their house. They could have just gone in the house right now. Why are you being so difficult? All right. Well, in any case, that's it for this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I'd love to hear your comments about stubborn geese.
In any case, thank you so much for watching and thank you for joining me on this journey.